So I'm here at the hotel and I was waking up anyways, getting ready. And that guy over there, I don't know, it's hard to see, future living. Could you get up, he pulls up with this vehicle of mass destruction on the side of the road while I'm still on the ground. He says to me, could you, hey buddy, could you get up and could you leave? Not his exact words, but uh, and here I see this word on the wall across from his store. It says uh, spaz, and that's what he, I I think of him right now. <laughs> Look at this store; it's big. He's the only one in there, and it's that's future living. When I really look at the components and the items that he has, and there's nothing that grabs my attention. There's nothing in that store that grabs my eye. It says design, renovation, real estate. Well, first of all, the design is flawed. To me, my opinion. Renovation. To me, the kind of renovation that goes on around here. <laughs> It's not a renovation, it's just a refurbishing of a holiday. Real estate, I don't know about that. That's blood money. Design, let's go back to the design. First of all, there is no sustainable product in there. I to me, again, it's like the only sustainability that has is just it's just the fact that it, it takes up uh, a good chunk of the block. So if that's what feature living is, oh my god. Taking up space and offering a bunch of wood that's painted in metal that, uh, that has radiation in it or some toxic things that release upon temperature. Now, I'm not... I'm not basically trying to bring down the dude or the store. What I'm trying to say is that there are no windmill components or um, things that work by itself without you, you know, taking off your arm or your leg just to pay for the thing. There's no solarized products. You know, at shelves with colors, tiles. It's already something that's common, I can see from here. Um, you know, the kitchen, kitchen stuff. The shape of the chair, come on, like, get with it. Make your windows like solar panels. Make it so that your, your, your freaking window when the sun shines in at least it's collecting energy and it's charging something like your other device come up with something creative not just being at the bottom of the, of the building where people live above you and expect people to just walk in and spend their hard working money uh, uh, something an artist can do come up with People are making a business out of attachments. There are people that when they buy their house, they see this fancy, they see this whole kind of uh, image that comes in front of their eye and it's just what people put out there. They don't have much of an imagination for themselves. Freshly brewed coffee. Anyways, yeah, this machine, I was talking about it the other day, and I was saying that it just takes your money and you have a hard time getting it back when you really need a snack at the time. So, hey guys, the corporate world is not, it's, <laughs> we need new type of investors and new type of, a new type of marketing scheme and a new, a new financial money system that has to roll out and where people just they just don't need to even touch this stuff who needs to touch paper money anymore okay the coins okay I can understand like yeah whatever but that's what I'm talking about anyways I'm just getting up here in the morning and I can see some 
mountain pictures here on the wall. That's where I should have slept last night. I should have slept there last night. Right on this thing. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we're going to be moving around um, at nighttime, you know, just try to find that perfect spot to relax. And you are welcome. So today is Friday, October the 19th, and it is now 10 o'clock. So what's on the list? For sure, breakfast. And already I can see uh, the rush hour in the morning begin and the bunch of cyclists that I look forward to seeing every single morning. And I'll try to get night rest. Spaz. And you know, I'm, I'm really hungry, so I'm just gonna run down to the, I don't know if you can see it from here, it's called the Kapari Cafe. I have to do this because I really, I really don't feel like sucking it in, guys. So if you guys can keep up with us, you can do that, and we're gonna be pointing our cameras to, guess what, true pedestrians like these guys. And I'm going to be pointing it to wheelchair guys, the, the strollers, the guys on the bike, the skaters, the skateboarders, the, the man with the dolly that didn't come from that vehicle of mass destruction, for sure. And you know what? I don't know about pizza, but right now, but I do feel like some uh, coffee because that's what gets me going in the morning. And here comes a cyclist. Let's look at how she rides. So she's picking up the center lane. He's picking up the center lane. The light changes, and I, I just know he's going to maneuver around the intersection, and he's not going to wait there for sure. So we're a little bit more niftier than that. So uh, let's point our cameras to the sidewalk for a second where we can see a whole bunch of people walking I, they're all the way down there you can't see them it's very difficult to see them but there are still, this is life on the sidewalk and I just think it's too close to I just, I just think that traffic is way too close to the sidewalk where people are traveling and have nothing to do with these uh, vehicles except for seeing them and where they go by as often as we do, this traffic should be in the air and it should be, before it gets off the air, it should be uh, green. And so that's what we're calling for and we're just looking for that total recall from all the manufacturing companies, auto manufacturing companies that is, that can actually um, face the challenge and, you know, make it something of a, of a let's say, project. Because the eagles do soar the sky. Good morning. It's really nice. And uh, you know I'm not ready yet, so I'm gonna get ready because I really I'm a I'm a talking be a talkative person, and I just wanna if I do get somebody coming in my face, at least I look a little bit nice. So I'm gonna get get off the road and get inside for for a second. There she goes, there goes the cyclist. She, I can see her smile from here. You guys didn't see that. But. Anyways, that's it, that's all. I'm gonna catch up with you guys later. Catch up with me if you can. What are you gonna swim right now? No.